crap. That is one of the most beautiful sunrises ever. Look at that amazing, amazing red sun. That's like just holy crap. It is so cold out here. Good morning. It's currently 7:45. Looking off of White Top. Oh, it's a beautiful stay up here. Very busy, as you can hear. But uh, overall, I would totally do it again. Amazing spot, amazing sunset, and amazing uh, sunrise. What an amazing experience. Bob texted me and said uh, he got Mowgli to come out and meet him with some Subway sandwiches last night. I guess he gave him some gas money or whatever. Oh, Jay said he was going to uh, meet me over here this morning. Just said he was about 30 minutes out about 30 minutes ago. So whipping up some coffee for us. Beautiful morning. It takes water forever to boil when you're waiting on it. Tell you what, just realizing there's a bathroom right here and I'm about to go destroy it! I really wish I had my phone in my hand just a minute ago. Bob just said that and dropped the phone and took off sprinting all the way over there to the bathroom. <laughs> Seven off from Elk Garden. Nice little stay. I think we got a beautiful hike ahead of us. Did not have to deuce this morning. It's a shame. Doesn't smell the best in there anyway. Interesting. Thank you, sir. I like to pretend I'm in Braveheart. William Wallace. Hiking to the next battle or whatever, you know? To me, in this environment, I feel like an adventurer going to conquer new lands. There's that. So you're like the English coming to take my Scottish territory. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> It's a temporary rainforest, so I mean, it, it doesn't really matter what time you come out. I feel like you get hit with rain pretty hard.
Never. <laughs> Jack going the wrong way. That's the water, water blaze that way. Big old horse turd on the trail. Very interesting. Small mistake right there. We, I guess we just saw that view right there and we didn't know what to think. We just we walked that way. Yeah. <laughs> it was a beautiful view. There's the blaze, there's the way to go. Like two or three to that shelter coming up. Like it's been a long mile, mile or so, man. We've been headed to this shelter for a minute, huh? Finally pulling up to this shelter. Ooh, that's a nice shelter. Go check it out. Then what? 
I do believe I remember this. Big sketch. That was a beautiful little side trail. I mean, that can't be more than 10 steps off the trail. Yeah, it's definitely, like definitely worth it. Tight with the pack. Huh? It's tight with the pack. We can go all the way through. That's gotta be Fat Man Squeeze. Fat Man Squeeze. Let's check this out. Woo! That's definitely ice. Definitely ice. <laughs> oh, I almost lost the sunglasses. Right side of the tree. Non-icy part, so that yeah, should have done. It's tight with the packs. Oh. All right. Oh, it sounded like you went down, but you didn't. Straight ice down.
Made it through Fat Man Squeeze. That was dope. Yeah, it's, it's scary right there, man. Dope trail today. Right, it's beautiful. Oh man, we got a little puddle here. Yeah. It doesn't look shallow. little rocks with these little green plants are like mini replicas of the whole mountain it's cool it's like fractals and yeah, so we was trying to figure out what we were going to do about battery we're just about completely out of juice right now so uh i think bob's got like five percent i got like 20 25 something like that he's got 10 percent on his battery bank i got about 20 so we wouldn't make it through the night with editing at all uh we called Cole, he's got a shuttle service out of Massey Gap that we found on Gut Hook, and uh, he said he'd come scoop us and bring us somewhere to charge for 60, but he said there was outlets right there at the bathroom in the parking lot. So, that sounds amazing. Game changer, uh, blah. Game changer for sure. So we got about a mile till we get to Massey's. Might park it there and just charge everything up and shove off in the morning, we'll see. This is definitely the first place I saw ponies in uh, 2020. I think this is the main place I saw ponies. I'm being honest. We got a pony. Just one pony, but we got a pony. Hey, buddy. Hey. Can I pet you? You want some grass? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Oh. No? Can I have a pet? I can't have a touch? It's like that wasn't worth a touch. But I appreciate it. It's really awesome. You let me get so close. You're so beautiful. Yeah, bro. Thank you. You have a good day. This is where we're gonna leave the Appalachian Trail to go down to Massey Gap parking lot. That's Bob over there. He's chasing down a pony.
right? Look like it. No outlet at the uh, first little bathroom we came to. So we checked both the parking lots right here on the like point three trail, the two point three trails coming off the Appalachian Trail for an outlet. It was unsuccessful. There might be, it's possible they have that up at the visitor center a little bit further up, but the signs say it's closed for the season, so we doubt it. We're gonna uh, hitch a ride to the general store. We heard they have some outlets out back and tenting too, so it's the plan right now.